Hey, this is Wileen Benson, and you are on the Daily Gratitude Call, where we start every day in gratitude. Gratitude is the highest energy state that we can be in. It creates a frequency of positive vibration that attracts positive experiences into our lives. Just thinking, so we have so we this, focus for 90 cover. seconds happened, on the wisdom of life. Part of the cover for our dryer hose came off that goes out of our house, and I didn't realize it. And I don't use my dryer all the time because I have a clothesline, so there's actually only like a month out of the year when it's the coldest, or a couple months that I that I do that I use the dryer. Anyway, so one day I came in and I saw some flutter in the dryer hose and I told my husband about it. Well, he didn't get it on it fast enough and the, we now have baby chicks in our dryer hose and my kids love to go look at them and they know not to touch them or anything, but how fascinating it is to see the wisdom that God designed in nature and how how cool it is to excuse me to see life's lessons and to see wisdom in nature that we can apply to ourselves who else would like to share I'll share um, the phrase that came to me was all things work together for our good um, that even though there are you know, obviously injustices in life and, um, you know, nature has its fury and uh, destruction. Um, I just feel like all of that is a result of a fallen world. Um, but that through the mercy of God, we have hope for a better world and, and that in his wisdom, he he makes all things come together for a good, even the bad, even the hard things in life. They can all be a benefit to us if we choose to see the wisdom in them. That's awesome. That when I was going through some major postpartum depression after my third uh I was doing this Bible study with a lady, and I'd heard the story of Joseph of Egypt my entire life, but when we were doing that study, it hit me that even what his brothers and what Satan intended for his destruction was ultimately for his greatest good, and how, when, especially when we turn to Jesus Christ, how all things work together, and I'm sure I've shared that line of thinking a lot of times on here, but it's just, you know, it repeats over and over how amazing God is. Thank you, Melissa. Anybody else? I'll share. Okay, Melinda. Um, so I was looking for a battery for something. I, I was losing battery, and it made me think about... Um, the tools that we have in this life when we fall short, like batteries or medical tools or, you know, oxygen masks, when we just, we don't have the capabilities to do it on our own. And then it got me thinking about like-minded people and how they're also there when, you know, we feel like we're falling short, but especially God and prayer and how when this life gets tough or when it's things just aren't working, that there's always something there to uh, lift us and to back us up and, and to keep us going. That's beautiful, very true. That And how and it's so awesome that we can create community and, and really when we focus on that support and the blessings of it, we can create more of it. Thank you. Anyone else? Scott, okay. my life is... Okay, Scott, and then Rachel? My yeah. life is a gift to share and grow. It's not for me to squander in pleasure for myself only. Wow. 
Oh. Are you waiting for me? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was talking, but I was muted. My baby. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Jairi. So, uh, I was just, I was just gonna say that it's so true that when we really look outside of ourselves and turn outward as Christ did, uh, David A. Bednar talked about in a book called Act and Doctrine how Jesus Christ that even in his ultimate suffering, he still turned outward to help others and how we can do the same. And we're blessed in that. Go ahead, Rachel. Yeah, my thoughts are kind of along the same lines. I've been really um, grateful for the innate wisdom of my body creating this child. Um, when there's small promptings that come to tell me to take certain things or do mostly to take certain things or actually do certain things also. And then I'll talk to my midwife and she'll say the exact same thing that I said. So her support and wisdom confirms what my body and spirit are already telling me to do. And I just love how that happens. That is awesome. I think that's so cool. Uh, I do something called BEST treatments. It, It stands for Bioenergetic Synchronization Technique. And it was developed by a chiropractor. And I kind of thought that kind of stuff was kind of woo-woo and weird. (laughs) But I've learned to trust it as I've been trained and certified in it. And how cool it is that we can learn to listen to and trust our bodies. And my nephew has, you know, we all work differently and he processes and has eczema outbreaks a lot of times according to his emotions because he hasn't learned he's seven and he hasn't really learned how to express his parents got divorced and just going through some of his emotional stuff he's dealt like that's how his body has has dealt with it and he's learned really well to listen to his body and I just think it's so cool that we can do that and I love I love the birth and the process and I guess that's why I've had five kids. Uh, so that's awesome. Thank you. Anyone else? All right, Michael here. Go ahead, Michael. I put down, I put down you know, in the wisdom of life that all things were created in order. And it's a natural flow. But you know that uh, even it says all things have feelings. And uh, even the rocks record what we do and say, the plants have feelings. You can measure them as how they react when you pinch them or even yell at them. Or, you know, you play sweet music to them. And problems and the trials in our life were designed to improve us, to help us to grow and, you know, become a better person. In the wisdom of life was all designed for us. This place was designed for us to be able to grow and change and become that person that we, uh, you know, were designed to be, but also to give up and let go of those things that uh, we don't need in this life. And even though it does not feel in any way like, wow, I signed up for this, <laughs> It's, uh, the, you know, there is wisdom in all things that were done for us that we might become and we might be that person we were meant to be. That's awesome. And there's this uh, BYU-Idaho devotional speech by Philip Allred, and he talks about how our bodies are our literal records of our lives and just as you were talking about how you know our the earth is a record as well but our bodies are specifically our record of our lives and when we go before god then then he'll say unravel the record and you show like anyway it's a really cool talk but how amazing it is that we have our savior that has provided an atonement for us so that we can 
change the record in our bodies and heal that record and allow generations to heal through our healing. And I think it's such a beautiful, a beautiful process. Thank you, Michael. Anybody else? Oh, and Kathy, we are focusing on gratitude for the wisdom of life. All right, let's go ahead and shift over to... Shift over to the wrist. All right, go ahead and take a deep breath. As you take a deep breath, I want you to imagine that I'm going to use uh, parts of a meditation that as Melanie Jacobson does, that's beautiful. And so I want you to imagine that you are approaching a door and this door is like Christmas, which means more Christ. And I want you to feel the joy and the excitement that you feel as a child on Christmas morning as you're approaching this door. And as you open this door, you are greeted by this, the beautiful wisdom of nature. And right outside the door is this beautiful grass teeming with life and wildflowers and birds and you can hear their song and as you step out onto the grass you can feel the energy and the love and the life all around you and you breathe deeply and feel the joy as the sun shines on your body like you're gi- like heaven is giving you a warm hug and you see as you're walking you see a little stream and as you get into this as you go over the stream and put your feet in the temperature is perfect and you so you get into this water and you just let all of the all of the cares all of the worries all of the heaviness in your body just release and you take a deep breath and you just release that from your body and as you are releasing that and breathing out all of your heaviness and any worries You look up and you see this beautiful, perfect rock that's been baking in the sun. And so you get out of the water and you go and you sit and you lay on this rock and your feet are on the ground and you feel the roots uh, through your feet go down through the earth. And as you're sitting there and you're feeling the joy and the love and the love of heaven. Mm-hmm. And as just a minute. And as you are sitting there, you you know exactly what the perfect thing is for you to do today. And you see that in front of you and you know and you feel the angels supporting you and gathering behind you to help you in your action step today.
And if there are any limiting beliefs about accomplishing your most important step today, go ahead and write that down. What is the what is the cost of that limiting belief? So go ahead and take some time to write down your new beliefs that are freeing and that feel like the sunshine that you can just breathe in and feel renewed. Give yourself permission. All right, and with these new beliefs, I want you to just take a couple more breaths and just breathe in that joy of those light, light, happy new beliefs. You feel, and as you are sitting on that rock and feeling the joy and feeling the joy of these new beliefs. You can feel your Savior there helping you to bring those into your body. Would anyone like to share any of their, anything that they've, they have? I'll share. Um, so yesterday there was something that I really needed to do and I was just really avoiding doing it. And I was feeling out of integrity because I said I would do something and then I wasn't doing it. And it was just really cr- a kind of a crushing feeling. And so what was really coming up for me, the, the cost of that, um, just feeling out of integrity with myself and with others. And so my new belief that was coming up really strong today is that I am integrity. I am in full integrity as I do those things that I said that I would do and that there are other ways also that I can um, get back in integrity with the people that I love and um, step up my game a bit. Awesome. It's, I've definitely noticed that I actually, my action step yesterday was to work on ground and to prepare my garden. And I, I didn't get that done. And I usually, I don't always, but I usually do get my action steps done. And, and I do feel when I don't follow through with what I tell myself, I do feel that and so I'm I am grateful that we have this opportunity every day with Wileen to to help put us back in alignment with ourselves and in integrity. Thank you, Kathy. I'll share too. Um I really like what Kathy said because uh, my inspired shortcut was different but I also had a similar experience yesterday with me procrastinating something that I said I would do and feeling awful about it Um, and I really liked her new belief I'm in full integrity with myself Um, 
and I just I wrote that down and I added I'm in full I am in full integrity with myself when I repent thank you Melissa that's awesome um one of mine that goes along with with sort of with what you guys have been saying is that I am fully supported and so a lot of times when I don't get the things done that I need to get done it's because I I give in to the overwhelm or discouragement or what you know any of those heavy things and so when I just trust and feel so fully supported then I and decide that I'm going to do it you know things work together just like we've been talking about they really do work together for my good so that I can get them done thank you Melissa would anyone else like to share anything before we finish up Um, I wrote that um, I can do all things. So I had this right in similar arity to everyone. Um, I've been feeling inadequate when it comes to like having time with my kids or having time with schoolwork or having time with work or serving others. Um, and so I put... I, my limiting belief was I don't have time to do that <laughs> action step and um, I put I can do all things in Christ I enjoy life and I am joy things work as they should I have the time and energy to enjoy the day with my family all I do is for the strength of my family my schoolwork and family time is aligned with one another and so Kathy and everyone else's shares have really helped that, like, understanding that if I be in integrity with myself and my family and my responsibilities and my time, they can all come together um, to create something beautiful. Thank you. That was beautiful. If you get a chance, I would love to, uh, if you get a chance to post that on the Breakthrough with Gratitude page, I would love to read those again. That was awesome. All right. Well, oh, go ahead. In the wisdom of life, all things were created for our use and for our design, and we we're given a choice. But the neat thing about it is everything in the wisdom of life was designed to give us a reward. And when we live our life, and it's, it's like if you're running a race and you're sitting at home watching TV all the time, um, when you start to run that race, you don't get very far, very fast. But if you get up every day and you go out and you run a mile and you're running 10 miles and you're running 15 miles and you're doing the exercises and stretches, the mental work and the physical work it takes when you run that race, you're right out there in front with those that struggled and, you know, went out and did the things they needed to do. And so in the wisdom of life, those that sit around and say, oh, I can't do anything, even though they're limited, um, don't do anything. But those that say, I'm going to go and do this today. I'm going to go and do that. In life's wisdom, we exercise, stretch, go beyond what we really think we feel we can do, and we become or we put ourselves in those positions to be a winner. And when we get to the finish line, you know, the reward that we feel with inside ourselves is even greater than maybe the accolades of the world because in the wisdom of life we have built ourselves to become something even greater and it's a wonderful thing anyway i'll stop for a moment 
Thank you, Michael. That was awesome. A great way to end our call. Thank you so much. I know, like, if any of you guys, as Wiley tells us every day, if any of you need help with your new beliefs or any of that, then you can get on askwiley.com. And thank you for letting me lead you. I know that it's nice to have Wiley on here every day. She's really good at what she does. But thank you so much. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks, Terry. You did a great job. Thank you. Well done. That was awesome. awesome. Hey, thanks so much for listening. And I encourage you to tune in every day to the Daily Gratitude Call. And the Daily Gratitude Call happens live every weekday morning. I'd love to have you join. So to find out how to join live, go to my website, wileenbenson.com. Thanks for tuning in.